we're going to pick him with Donnie and Boone. Here's our picks for week one. We're back, baby! <laughs> Go, French eye. I'm going with my New York Jets getting six and a half on the Monday night special in Detroit. It's official. Darnold's the elite quarterback in New York, and he's not only going to cover the spread, he's going to win over the third place team in the AFC North. I love Carolina giving Trace versus Dallas. Did Jerry Jones make this line before the anesthesia wore off from the latest surgery? Maybe Zeke can go all AP 2012 on the league, but I'll believe it when I see it. I have the Broncos at home taking down the Seabirds by a yard. The Broncos upgraded big time with Keenum and Seattle's defense is almost all gone. They won't come out of my I'll take the Chiefs getting three and a half ski. I don't know who decided the Chargers are the better team here, but I don't like it. This spread is twice as terrible and makes just as much sense as the Chiefs mascot, KC Wolf. Chiefs have won eight straight matchups, and there's a ton to get excited about on offense. I'm going to go with New Orleans by nine and a half over the hapless Pirates of the Superb Dome. Breeze, Kamara, Thomas, Fast D, no one on Tampa, enough said. Fitz might get picked ten times in this game. Give me the Brownies plus four. Fans optimistic, so the Brown Bags are staying in the cabinet. Brown's got a solid. Solid offense with their best quarterback in 15 years. Steelers have a missing star back and a suspect secondary. Hugh Jackson is my biggest issue here. They keep giving him the keys to the car after he totals it. But I'm riding shoddy with my boy. Go Bridgeside. Catch us next week for week two action and subscribe to Bridgeside. And join the family.